WBEZ Chicago, this is Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, the NPR News Quiz. I can, I can honestly say we all love each other and our kids play together. Or they're grown now, so they they pretty much hang out with each other. And the fact that, you know, when you're getting $35 a piece at a show, yeah. it humbles you. <laughs> I guess so. With nine people in a group, even if you love each other, I mean, there there must have been differences of opinion. That's like our Supreme Court. How did you guys take a vote? How did you decide on things? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, the same way brothers argue and things like that, and, but we have so many members there that, you know, right always outweighs wrong, so majority rules. It, it, it's not really a vote. It's kind of like a unsaid nod. Like, All right. Yeah, I get it. When my brothers would fight, it would just end. One of them would just fart in the other one's face, and that's how they decided things. <laughs> you white people are crazy. <laughs> to what you're doing now, because I know, you know, we Tank Clan uh, started years ago, but uh, is it true that you have an enthusiasm for ugly Christmas sweaters? Yeah, I'm actually, um, I'm actually selling one now. Good plug, I love that. You're welcome. So, I, I, I mean, forgive me, I did not know that ugly Christmas sweaters was part of 90s hip-hop culture. Is this a new thing? You know, it's kind of like tradition. Everybody should own an ugly Christmas sweater. Method Man on sale now, uglychristmassweater.com. <laughs> hip-hop artist of the 90s has a website called UglyChristmasSweater.com where you sell ugly Christmas sweaters? Well, they have a variety of ugly Christmas sweaters. Backslash Method Man, you'll get mine. There you go. <laughs> but what did you have to do with it? I mean, did you knit the sweaters? I didn't knit them at all. You know, we have people on board to do stuff like that. Come on. I'm a, you know, I'm white, a, people, white people knit their own. <laughs> <laughs> aggressively in one another's faces. What they do is they, they knit. Yeah. This has been so culturally instructive, I think. Before, before we get to the game, I do want to ask you about your other new project, which is, a, I don't know if you want to call it, a performance show, a game show, drop the mic. Tell me what it is. It's, a, it's basically a say, uh, performance show for uh, aspiring, or, or people that are in the entertainment field that have always wanted to be MCs. I know a lot of people, you know, they used to sing in the shower. Yeah. Well, nowadays they MC in the shower. And we're just giving them a, a platform to, you know, show their skills and maybe, you know, disrespect the opponent while they're at it. I, I have to say, I watched a few of them. I saw one between James Corden, who was one of your producers, yes. and Halle Berry, of all people. Yes. And first of all, I didn't know Halle Berry could rap. She's pretty good. Yeah, she's and pretty secondly, good. it's vicious. Yeah, of course, absolutely. And you know what I love about Halle? She took it because they, we let them know exactly what's going to be said before hand before they get And she was cool with everything. Yeah, but she laid into James Corden. I would have died where I, where I am. Not if I wrote for you, brother. You would have been itching to go. Oh, really? <laughs> I have to admit, I saw a bunch of them. The raps are so good. Yeah. I'm assuming yeah. that you were doing them um, with other experiences. Um, actual battle rappers to write. Oh, I see. Can you yeah. give us an example of what someone might do in the shower? Well, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> You know, they could be reciting, for instance, the first rap song. No. for white people, it's called Hamilton. <laughs> I love Hamilton. Shout out to Lynn Manuel. Yeah. Everything he's doing. He's amazing. Well, Matthew, it's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here to play a game we're called <laughs> To Act It. You have to be it. Now you're known as Method Man, and you are a fine actor, so we thought we would ask you about method acting. Yeah, this is the famous thing you where, well, basically instead of pretending you actually try to be the character, answer two out of three questions about brilliant method actors. And we won our prize for one of our listeners, the voice of anybody they hear here on this show. Bill, who is Method Man playing for? Maria Dent of Syracuse, New York. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah, I'm ready. Here we go. Now, to prepare for his role in the World War II drama Fury, famed actor Shia LaBeouf did what 
in the name of realism? Was it A, he refused to bathe for four months, resulting in him being banished from the cast hotel? B, he arranged a boxing match with an avowed Nazi before filming so he could punch him? Or C, for an entire year prior to filming, he refused to speak a word that was coined after 1944? Um, ew, I'll go with A. You're with A, you're right. He did. Shia LaBeouf refused to bathe because his character, a tanker in World War II, couldn't bathe, and Brad Pitt threw him out of the cast hotel because he stinks so bad. <laughs> True story. All right, next question. Sometimes method acting can get a little too real, as when up-and-coming actor Shia LaBeouf prepared <laughs> for his role in the Wall Street sequel, Wall Street uh, Money Never Sleeps, by doing what? A, he did an estimated eight kilos of cocaine. <laughs> B, he made $300,000 in the stock market. Then he saw half the people who helped him get arrested for insider trading. Or C, he worked for three months as a late night cleaning crew member at Goldman Sachs, and he rifled through the waste baskets to look for secrets. Mm. Ew, I don't know this one. Uh... Uh, let's go with C. You're going to go with C. No, in this case, it was actually B. He says that to learn his role as a trader, he started trading money. He made $300,000. Yeah. And it turns out that the hedge fund guys he was talking to, half of them got arrested for insider trading. Wow. So he had money and scandal. It was good preparation. Last question. Sometimes method acting doesn't work out, as when noted actor Shia LaBeouf... <laughs> himself fired from what would have been his Broadway debut in a play called Orphans by doing what? A. He insisted on pronouncing all the S letters in the script as Fs because, quote, that's how Shakespeare did it. B. He refused to rehearse unless the theater was filled each and every time with paid pretend audience members. Or C. He convinced co-star Alec Baldwin that he was actually crazy. Hmm, I think C. You're right! <laughs> explains that his character in the play was supposed to intimidate Baldwin's character, so he actually tried to do that, including by following Baldwin home at night, and Baldwin did not like that, when Shia left the show. Bill, how did Method Man do in our quiz? He had the right method, and he got two right, there which is a win. Congratulations! Man's show, Drop the Mic, airs Tuesdays on TBS. Method Man, thank you so much for joining us on Wait, Thank you, man. Just a minute. Ho, ho, ho. You are high, high, high.